Over the last six months, I have been aggressively opening Madden packs. But today, I finally sold every single player I've ever pulled, and I ended up with 37 million coins. Then I dropped 30 million coins to build the absolute best team that money can buy. QB1 is CJ Stroud. This is probably my favorite quarterback in Madden 24. We're actually going to be rocking two different halfbacks. 94 overall Peyton Hillis and 94 overall Derrick Henry. The reason we're rocking two quarterbacks is because of this ability right here, Angry Runs. So this is an X factor that starts the game activated, but you only get eight plays of it. It virtually guarantees that you break the first tackle you encounter. When you pair that with Persistent, which Derrick Henry actually gets for free, he actually ends up getting 10 plays of Angry Runs. The reason we then have Peyton Hillis is because he has the exact same ability so for the first eight plays of the game, we can have Peyton Hillis in, activated, constantly breaking tackles. And as soon as his ability turns off, we can sub in Derrick Henry for 10 more. It is a diabolical strategy. At wide receivers, we have some absolute giants. First up is 96 overall limited Plaxico Burris. And I gave him mid in elite for 1 AP. Plaxico Burris was 2.2 million coins. And Megatron was 2 million coins. We spent a lot on wide receivers. This Megatron is unbelievable. He's got 96 speed. He's also 6 foot 5. They're both insane. My final wide receiver is actually a personal favorite of mine, Puka Nakua. There are other 96 overall wide receivers. This technically isn't the best wide receiver, but dude, I just think this Puka is so much better than his stats imply. He is like, if you throw this man the ball, he will catch it. He makes more contested catches than any wide receiver I've used. And since we basically have fuck you money, I also picked up cover athlete Odell. This is just for the nostalgia factor. He's not better than any of the wide receivers I have in, but he is super good. And in case anybody gets fatigued, we can throw Odell, and I also have him as my kick return and punt return man. Mike Allstott at fullback. He's the best fullback in the game. Not much to say here, but I do like running I-formation stretches and dives. Your fullback is really important on those. Dude, one of my favorite tight ends in this game, 94 overall George Kittle. You'll also notice I have a lot of playoff players on this lineup. There's a bug right now in Madden Ultimate Team. There's this AFC strategy item right here, which is supposed to only be activated for AFC playoff players, but it's bugged and it just activates for all playoff players. So it doesn't matter if they're AFC or NFC. So every single playoff player on this lineup is getting a massive boost to their stats. Kittle and Schultz are both insane, but Dalton Schultz is such a slept on tight end in this game. He has amazing run blocking stats, and then he's also got 92 speed. He's six foot five. I really like that he can run block. A lot of good tight ends in this game cannot run block. Now the offensive line, fun thing about Creed Humphrey. Creed Humphrey gets country strong chemistry, which boosts your quarterback, center, right guard, and left guard with strength, throw power, run block, and pass block. So he's awesome to have at center. He also gets post up for one AP. We won't be running that today, but it is nice to have. I've got post up on Kevin Zeitler. I've got nasty streak on Isaac Sayamalo. And then John Runyon's good because he gets identifier discounted. Identifier shows you what player your opponent is usering. So this is the full offense. Mid and elite. Gift drive, hot rod master, gunslinger, identifier. We got angry runs persistent. We got angry runs on Peyton Hill. List, post up on Kevin Zeitler, Isaac Sayamala with Nastry Streak. So my game plan is to dominate the run game and set up play action and chuck nukes to Megatron, Plaxico Burris, and Puka Nakua. And that takes us to the defense. If you've never played Madden Ultimate Team before, uh, it's basically dominated by a new ability this year called Lurk Artist and Gigantic Linebackers. Now, if you play Madden Franchise, you'll know that linebackers don't jump for shit. Like, they are useless in pass coverage. Lurk Artist is the ability that fixes that. Lurk Artist lets linebackers jump like safeties and DBs. You can do 180 catches. They will snag that shit. Which is why middle linebacker Rob Gronkowski is one of the best players in this game. He came out months ago and he's still so good. Six foot six, 270. He's got 96 hit power. He's got great coverages. He gets Lurk Artist. And most importantly, he gets Avalanche. Avalanche guarantees a fumble if you get a downhill hit stick. So if you're running towards the line of scrimmage, you get 10 plays of Avalanche and you can reactivate it with a few few tackles. So you notice that all of my linebackers have Lurk Artist and many linebackers in this game get Lurk Artist for free, zero AP. So we're not using any ability points on limited Dre Greenlaw, Ernest Jones, Rob Gronkowski, Harold Carmichael, Julius Peppers, and Randy Moss all have Lurk Artist. 
for zero AP. At outside linebacker, we got Drake Greenlaw. I needed a pass coverage guy because our edge pressure is going to come from our defensive lineman. Harold Carmichael may be a 93 overall, but this is one of the stupidest cards they ever put in this game. He's got 93 speed. He's six foot eight. You cannot throw within an 100 foot radius of this dude. That's what it feels like when you play against him. He's got Lurk Gardas, so he jumps like a psychopath. Same thing right here with strong safety Julius Peppers. I, I don't even know why Julius Peppers has a strong safety, but he's six foot seven, 94 speed with free Lurk Artist. They're just begging you to be a toxic asshole. I do have a backup strong safety because every once in a while, we will sub Julius Peppers into middle linebacker. So then my linebackers can be Gronk, Carmichael, and Julius Peppers. And then I'm a sweaty fucking loser who never goes outside. This Palomalu is not a very meta card. He's 5'10", so it doesn't make him a great strong safety, but I really just wanted to use Palomalu. I love Trey Palomalu, and this card's nasty. So Now, on the opposite end of that, probably the most well-rounded and insane safety in this game is Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott, 6'203", Super Bowl passed, 96 speed, 97 hit power, 98 zone coverage, 94 man coverage. He does everything. At corners, we got Herb Adderley, one of the fastest corners in this game, and he's also 6'1". Really important that your corners are tall, which is also why he picked up Randy Moss's corner card. This card speaks for itself. He gets Lurk Artist, which is interesting because they usually only put that on linebackers, but he's got 95 speed, 95 zone. He gets Lurk Artist for free, and he's six foot four. Insane card. Now, Jair Alexander goes against what I just said. He is a shorter corner. This is not a very meta card. I just wanted him because I love Jair Alexander. This card was very expensive because he was really rare, uh, but he is five foot ten. So if I'm going up against a Megatron, I might get fucking dunked on, but still wanted to use this card. Now, the D line is probably where I spent the most coins. I spent 2.2 million on Nick Bosa and 2.2 million on Reggie White, the Minister of Defense. Now, Reggie White starts the game with unstoppable force on, and I gave him edge threat and double or nothing. I went balls to the wall on this Reggie White. He's either the greatest defensive player of all time, or he's the second greatest defensive player of all time, but I think he's going to go absolutely off on this team. Across from him is one of my all-time favorites in this game, Nick Bosa. He's got no outsiders, ironically, for one one AP, and um, he's got insane stats too. He's way faster. He's just not as strong or as big as Reggie White, so I actually think Reggie White will still get to the quarterback quicker. For deep tackles, I went with the Buccaneers duo of Warren Sapp and Vita Vea. I gave both of them inside stuff, so there's virtually no chance my opponent can run the ball against me. Even if he had the most dominant run game team, he just can't. There's too many abilities here. You bet your ass we will not be punting the football, but if we did punt it, I grabbed the best punter in the game, Bradley Pinion, and then we grabbed 94 Harrison Butker. The important thing in Madden is that you just have the two abilities, focused kicker and zen kicker, which gives you a slower meter no matter what kick you're kicking. So this 94 Harrison Butker is actually an endgame card. Here's a rundown on the defensive abilities. So like I said, there's going to be a lot of Lurk Artists out here. Reggie White with edge threat, double or nothing, unstoppable force. I expect insane pressure from him. No outsiders, Nick Bosa. Ronnie Lott's got deep zone KO, improved reactions and knockouts in deep zones. These are so important. If you ever felt like your receivers just keep dropping the damn ball, it's always because of the zone KOs. They're really important. Adderley's got the same thing, but he also gets pick artists for free. So we slap that on him. Pick artist on Jair Alexander, Lurk artist on Ernest Jones and Randy Moss, Julius Peppers Lurk artist, Lurk artist Avalanche on Gronk, Vita Vea with inside stuff, and you guessed it, Lurk artist on Harold Carmichael. We are officially in the endgame when every single player on the team has an ability. I will have an X mark under every single player on this defense that is honestly pretty stupid. <laughs> I feel like it's a little early for us to be in the end game, but shit, man, I'm really excited to use this team. All right, gentlemen, the only thing left to do is to go ruin somebody's day on head to head. Ray Lewis, the Pastronaut, and Channing Crowder. I like his squad. CJ Stroud, Plaxico, and Jair are the top three. Very first play of the game, we're gonna run right behind Megatron, Dalton Schultz, and Mike Allstott on the right side. We've got activated abilities. There's, oh, Mike, I needed it. Got the juke anyway. Peyton Hillis goes for six. And honestly, what a good matchup because look at his defense. He's got an ability on every single player as well. They definitely match us up with the right guy. Let's get it. Second and four. Going to run it once again to Peyton Hillis. Third and two. One more stretch. And that time he ran right through it. But that's exactly why you have the activated abilities. I ignored him. We're going to go play action here now. Let's see if we get some time to set this up. Play action, got him right down the line is George Kittle makes a joke. Kittle, oh, good pursuit angles. This was my exact game plan. We set it up perfectly. We can go right back to the run. I'm gonna go to the right side, cut this up the middle. Peyton Hillis is gonna run the big boy over. 
I can't tell what he's in. If he's in man coverage, we throw it to Dalton Schultz. If he's in zone, we'll go to Plaxico Burris. Let's take a look here. That is zone Plaxico. Oh, no. <laughs> I told you guys about Lurk Artist. That's what it does right there. I still thought I could get that over his head. On first and 10, he wants to run the ball too. We'll bring Ronnie Lott down here. Let's see if we can stuff this. Oh, goes right up the middle. That's almost a safety. I'm going to guess pass, and let's see if he tries to throw to 21. We can pick that shit off. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Pick six, Grog! I'm in your head. I'm in your head. I'm in your walls. The best offense is defense. We're going to take the 7 0 lead. That was disgusting. Now, this is the really diabolical defense right here because we've got Carmichael and Peppers on the right side. It's going to be so difficult for him to throw that ball to either of those guys. Second and four, he could run this to LT. He does not. I don't see what he's got. Dude, that was an interception. Third and four, let's guess pass. Where's he going? He cannot. Dude, we're getting so much pressure that I can't get the interceptions. He threw two interceptions right there. Fourth and four, let's seal the deal right here. Great pressure from Nick Bosa, fourth and four. I'm literally blitzing three against five and we are getting home every single time. He has nothing. He has nothing. He's gotta throw it though. <gasps> get home! <laughs> All right, let's get weird. First and 10. Can't make the same mistake I made last time. But here's the thing. The only reason that happened last time is because I didn't have enough space for the zone to develop. You need to shut the fuck up. Now I do. So I'm going to throw this to Plaxico Burris. I'm going to throw the same thing. But this time it's going to go. Oh! Plaxico. All right, second and 10. Let's just find out. Let's just fuck around and find out. I see Peyton Hillis, and he's going to break that tackle. You can play perfect, but if that shit is activated, he will break it. Third and one. I'm gonna give Megatron a little. Ooh, he's pressing up here. Look at Mike Allstott. Look at Mike Allstott, the wide receiver! Mike Allstott! Let's go, dude. The no gloves psychopath. Two point conversion. It is an utter stomp right now. I'm gonna put Dalton Schultz on a hitch. I think that'll be there. It is. It is. You just gotta hang on, big guy. Dalton Schultz, baby. 15-0. I'm putting everybody in a zone here. The entire squad is in a zone. He's got nothing. He does have infinite time, though. Oh, throw it. Throw it. I'll pick that shit off. Come on. Be greedy. Come on. Somebody go get this guy. All right, I got a... Oh. <laughs> Dude, he took his sweet-ass time just to throw that absolute gutter ball. Oh, my God. Not sure what he... Th Ooh, smart. Smart. Ooh! Third and four, I'm on Gronk. Is this a run? No, it's a pass. He's going to check this down. Great defense, Ronnie Lott. It's only a second completed pass. It's fourth and one. Does he do the same thing? We just got to play underneath. Play underneath. Press up, play underneath. He's going to hand it off. And he's... No, he has the ball still. Oh. I thought we stuffed that for sure. All right, first and ten. Stay up. Reggie White. Look at... Reggie White is insane. Oh, I'm too low. Bruh. That's my fault. Two for seven, nine yards, and an interception for the pass Here we go. Second and ten! I have never gotten this much pressure off of a three-man rush in my entire life. Dude, I will say, though, Madden Ultimate Team just completely poisons your brain. Jair, Jair. <gasps> Respect. That was a hell of a fucking catch, George Kittle. Dude, but honestly, Mutt poisons your brain for playing Madden. Because when I play so much Mutt, and then I go play, like, Franchise or Quick Play, dude, I don't even know how to pluck it. I don't know how to play the game anymore. Because, yeah, there's no such thing as a lurk artist Julius Peppers in regs. <laughs> Damn, I thought... Oh, nice move. And we're not going to get off the box. Oh. That was a nice touchdown. That was a very nice touchdown. I'll give it to him. He made some crazy catches there. <laughs> Julius Peppers was so close to flying on that ball and getting that INT. Two-point conversion, he might run this. No. Check down to halfback? No, he doesn't have it. It's, it's cooked. It is formally officially cooked. Dude, I need to shut up. Let's run a weird formation. We're gonna go gun wide zone. We've got activated Derrick Henry if we want him. I'm gonna put Megatron on a post and Dalton Schultz on a hitch. This is definitely weird. Let's go Peyton Hillis. Oh, but you're not activated anymore. Without the activated running backs, guys, I'm a fraud. I have a feeling Derrick Henry could go off right here. I'm going Megatron. That's a heave! Nice knockout from Marcus Peters. Third and eight right here. This is still a very soft zone coverage. Unless he just switched to man. One thing I'll say about Julius Peppers. Julius Peppers can't cover a damn whip route. If he's in man. 
Oh, I gotta go to it anyway. Look at George Kittle! He's too fast! George Kittle, first and 10. All right, also I take it back. Julius Peppers guarded the shit out of that whip route. Here we go, first and 10. Going a little play action. I see Plaxico over his head! Burris, dot. First and 10, we're gonna go bunch to the right side. I'm looking for that same thing out of Plaxico. I'm gonna sit Puka Nakua down, which will hopefully keep that corner low. You know, it doesn't, but look at those zone drops. Puka's got eight yards to run before he gets touched. Let's see if he does that again. He's sending everyone back because he's so scared of the deep pass that Puka Nakua is just butt naked right there. Okay, second and two. Same thing. Don't make the game hard, John. Don't gotta make it any harder than it is. I'm gonna give this to Derrick Henry. Let's see what he can do. Holy shit. All right, second and goal. Dude, should we just get all of our touchdowns in my goal stuff? Step up, CJ. Oh, ankle biter. Wonder if I can throw a really, really hot one to Megatron in the back corner. I might have to freeform this, but I think Megatron's gonna be there. It's gonna be gross if it's there. Let's find out. Oh God, that's gross. Yeah, it's greedy. I, I, dude, I had the check down. That's just greedy. I basically verbally committed. I said I was gonna do that, so I did it. He has the check down this time for sure. Takes Kittle. I don't know, ref. It kind of looked like he did not get those feet down. But that's a hell of a ball, dude. This All of a sudden, this might be a game. It's going to throw down. Oh, my God, I picked that. Second test looks like a run to me. It's not. That's play action. Could check down halfback, and he might go high. Gronk! Blue Curtis! Oh, give me those blocks. Good job, Carmichael. A pancake. Another great block. Gronk's going to break one. I kind of forgot that's the other insane thing about Gronk middle linebacker is he has all the stats of being a tight end. So he's got break tackle and juke and shit. All right, we're going to go with a deep play action here. I'm looking for Plaxico. Yup, bite, bite. Ooh, shit. Honestly, should have thrown that away, but I would have thrown an interception if I threw that ball. All right, second and 20. Let's simplify this a little bit. I'm, I'm being a little too greedy right now. Let's just, just take what the defense gives us, right? I think this is man coverage. I think Carmichael is supposed to cover. Let's go, Stroud. Let's go, big guy. You got the wheels for that. All right, third and nine. This is weird. Oh, he's so old. No! Holy shit, I got screamed on. Damn! I am going to be smart and take my field goal here. Bummer, dude. He got to me so fast, I couldn't even throw it. Hey, good defense. Make it 18-8. to eight. And that was really good clock management because he's not going to have time to go score. All right, he's going to have one big play here. Let's see what he's got. I'm going back around a lot. Now, the good news is if I intercept this, we'll get some momentum. That 100% should have been gone. All right, 10-point lead. He does get the ball here. Dude, if he'd gotten that, this would be such a scary game. First and 10, he's actually going to run this this time. And here's Gronk. Oh, I knew he was juking. I tried to bait that out. Probably looking for the check down. Probably go LT. Yep. 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 <laughs> he got flat. All right, we can't let him do that again. Let's just guess. I'm actually going to blitz. I haven't blitzed much. Let's go for it. Oh, he's going to go halfway. I'm there. Oh, my God. I just read you like a book. The best offense is defense, gentlemen. Gronkowski middle linebacker is seeing the end zone more than anybody. Jeez. This is a fake. This is a fake. Fuck, he knows. How does he know? Look at him over there. Oh, wait. You just got to make the throw, Butker. Dude, I hate that they nerfed that. I hate it so much. Hey, 24 to 8 is not bad at all. And to be honest, we're on 40 bomb watch. We really are on 40 bomb watch. The Astronaut. Yeah, just take that P out of there. You're 6 for 17 with three interceptions. Let's take the P out of the name. He's going to go to the Damian Tomlinson. That's mine. Third and 10. Corner out, George Kittle. Oh, good play. He's going to juke. He's going to juke. Mm. Let's go. Fourth and four. Fourth and four. I'm going to go Bosa underneath. He, he wants something short and quick. Does he have LT? He doesn't. Oh, he wants this dig. He can't get it. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. <gasps> that was actually a dot. He dropped it? Dude, he got hoed straight up. Gonna go play action here. Let's see if he bites. Oh. Ah, is that too risky? <gasps> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now you just hold your cock in your hand for one motherfucking second. I just watched George Kittle drop 
of the ball in the fucking bread basket while Channing Crowder 181 hands my bitch ass? I'm homeless. Oh my God. That was actually insane. Reggie White, two man rush. Five people blocking. The Minister of Defense doesn't give a shit. Let's blitz. Let's blitz. Let's blitz. We've had a lot of success blitzing so far. Stay up. 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 Safety. Third and 22. We're having a lurk artist off right now. Third and 22. I'm winning, though, for the record. Sir. You know what? Pitches are... Oh. Big whip route out of Megatron here. And that's his own coverage. Oh, see? <laughs> I need to step up in the pocket better there. Second and 14. Not sure if anything was open. I'm going to hand this off to Peyton Hillis. He doesn't have a second level. So if we can get past these D linemen. Oh, my God. Let's get it together, Matt. Let's get a grip here. Third and 14. Megatron. Cool. Absolutely cooked, Ray Lewis. All right, first and goal. Beautiful play. I'm going to go Peyton Hillis underneath because this is man, so I don't think he can guard this. Yeah, that's his user's responsibility. Big white boys are getting touchdowns. Gronk, Allstott, and Peyton Hillis. That's who's gotten in the end zone today. <laughs> we are big time on 40 bomb watch. For those of you who don't know, that's Belobius right there. He is guarding the Panini Immaculate $1,000 trading card boxes. Anytime I score 40 points, I open one and I give them all away. And uh, he's going to make the same mistake twice. And I got to get in there. It's huge. One more touchdown, one more two-point conversion, 40 bomb. He's got Energizer X Factor. Such a weird one. Oh, here comes Ronnie Lott for a big one. Oh, my. Worst. We are flying around 8 for 22, 103, and four interceptions for the Pastronaut. He really wants to throw the check down to LaDainia Thompson. <laughs> Warren Sapp showing off that 90 speed. He's been insane. He really kickstarted all of this with that huge stop on the goal line. I don't know if he would have gotten that, but Reggie White isn't having any of it. Guessing pass, third and 23, trying. Yup. Good guess. Go, go, go. Carmichael. Good deal. Nice catch. Fourth and 17. Uh, this might be the rage quit. It'd be a really big bummer. Oh my god, I just left 81. God, that was so open. All right, let's score with a black guy so no one calls me racist. We've got all the white dudes scoring right now. Let's go to Plaxico Burris, and hopefully Channing Crowder doesn't own me for the millionth time. Oh, just kidding. We'll check this down to Megatron. Make a juke. Make another big juke. Oh, my God. Let's go. Huge two-point conversion. Monumental two-point conversion for the 40 bomb right here. Two-point conversion. This is huge. Absolutely massive. I think we go right back to Megatron. Right over the middle on this drag. Uh, I'm going to motion out Hillis as a distraction. Then I'm going to snap it. Oh, fuck. I can't. Won't let me. Fuck it. Here we go. Megatron. There he is. 40 bomb. Dude, an actual 40 bomb in three quarters. That's amazing. All right. First and 10. Look at Nick Bosa, dude. Look at these defensive linemen. I should have this angle. Dude. Dude, half of the problem trying to get a 40 bomb is getting somebody to stick around long enough to get 40 hung on him. So we got to give a huge shout out to I Love Con Con over here for playing this game out with me. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. All right. Third and six. My responsibility is LT. Dude, I actually feel bad right there. Kittle just dominated Carmichael on that route. He just whiffed the pass. I'm going to go on Herb Adderley. I like that face mask. The guy's a dog. He wants this. He wants this. He wants this. Green, green, long. Come on. I want more offense. I scored too many defensive touchdowns. I want just a fucking beam, bro. I want to throw this to Plaxico so bad. I don't think it's there. Oh, it is there. Nah. Not really. Play action go slot cross. This is actually a really cool play here. Let's give it a go. Got to step up in the pockets. Uh-oh. That pocket fucking collapsed and Puka's so open. No! I want to make sure we're spreading the wealth. Has everybody gotten some love today? I think so. Puka. Nakua. I'm lucky. I'm lucky that wasn't intercepted. Fourth and 20. Wish me luck, gentlemen. We're going to need it here. Plaxico. That's money. Caught it! Plaxico Burris! I knew the 2.2 mil was worth it. Plaxico with an insane catch. Come on. Send us home, Plaxico. Send us home, Plaxico. What a dot! I'm so horny. Oh my god. That was... 
I think it gave me the drop animation because he was out of bounds. Like, I, I just think they said it didn't matter. Ah. Oh. Plaxico's got some room, but not much. Oh, wait a minute. Dude, getting a 40 bomb's been hard enough. I think I'm actually gonna get a 50 bomb, maybe a 60 bomb if we wanna get weird. Let's go Plaxico Hitch. It's actually really hard to stop, dude. These dudes just post up and they're so fucking big. I'm homeless. No, I cannot let you score on me here. Just gotta slow him down. What a... Let's go! I'm going speed onside because I'm a griefing asshole. High kick, 80% power. We got pretty good odds on this. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Damn. All right, Ray. First and 10, 46 to 8. Hatback slip screen. I like the play call. He's getting in his duffel bag now, boys. I think he's mounting the comeback. I'm going to go on J. Peppies. I'm going to go on J. Peppy. First and 10. He's going to hand this off again. Dude, look at how he's cooking me. Second and one, maybe another handoff. Yeah, he's just going to keep going for it. Oh, nice juke. Really good juke. I'm going to bring Ronnie Lott down in case he does that again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh! God, that's so satisfying. Second and 10. He's milking the clock, dude, but I, I, gotta, I gotta get the 50 bomb. Warren Sap. What a play. Fourth and eight. He's gonna take the field goal, make this 11 to 46. You know, just 10 more of these and he'll be winning. All right, bring out the hands, team. Let's get the 50 bomb, boys. Megatron, you literally were born to catch that shit, dude. Straight up. First and 10 from the 48, 44 seconds. That's way more than enough time. So this Puka post has been there a few times. But the dig route's gonna be open on this one. There's Megatron with the dig. Good juke. Another good juke. Dude, I really redeemed CJ Stroud's stat line. He was getting in trouble. Oh, this might be man. Here we go. First and 10. Plaxico. 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 Burris. Get in front! Come on! Guys, I don't have anything special for a 50 bomb because this shit is not supposed to happen. I'll be honest. I got squeamish and stepped up, and I shouldn't have. I should have sat in that pocket and let the routes develop. I had X over the middle. All right, let's be a good sport, though. Honestly, like, this guy's such a homie for, like, playing this game out when he really didn't need to. So I'm going to run commit. We're going to give him We're gonna give him a tutty here. Got to be a homie, right? Beams one to Williams. Let's see if he'll use the whole clock, or is he going <laughs> to... Oh, he tried to. He tried to, but he leaves one second, and he'll take his 18th point here. Good man. I think if I run play action, I'm going to nuke this, but that's okay. I don't need to grieve. Holy shit, that was a game. CJ Stroud, 15 for 24, 275 yards, five touchdowns, but I did have three interceptions. Channing Crowder owns me, and the astronaut had a literally such a horrible game. It's not even funny. We really didn't run the ball that much, though. I was really excited to try out those angry runs, but I hardly use them. So in the future, probably would be better for me to actually put the abilities on Megatron and maybe my tight ends. I'm not sure who else I put the abilities on, but we clearly didn't need it on these guys. Um, through the air, though. Oh my goodness. Plaxico, two touchdowns, 95. Kittle, four for 66. Megatron, three for 60 and a touchdown. Puka was two for 17. And Mike Allstott had a touchdown. Really, though, defensively, we were insane. Drake Greenlaw with an interception. Kronk had three interceptions and two touchdowns. And then Ronnie Lott had his big interception. And Drake Greenlaw, another great interception as well. That's an insane game. All right, boys. And we're not going anywhere. So, insane game. 30 million coin team. And we dropped a 40 bomb. So, let me get out these cards. I'm going to go wash my hands and grab my top loaders. And let's get after By the way, I give these away in Discord. You should be able to find a look somewhere. If you want to join the giveaway, you should be able to find it. All right, gentlemen, if you didn't see the first time I did this, what I have here is a Panini Immaculate. These are about a thousand bucks a pop. They're super expensive and there's only six cards in here. So basically you're guaranteed six insanely cool cards. This is Panini Immaculate Collegiate Football. So you could get, for example, a Kyle Pitts, Florida, right? Or a CJ Stroud, Ohio State. Let's just get after it. I'm breaking a seal here. It's like, dude, it's, it really is unbox therapy though, dude. Like, look at how pretty this thing is. So then when I crack this tin, there's even more. So you guys can see the authentic seal. It's actually like, I don't know if you guys collect cards, but it's pretty important. So that's the seal there. You can see that it's never been opened. 
The tape's off, gentlemen. Now, if this was Wheel of Mutt, I could add the player to my team, but this isn't Wheel of Mutt, so we're just gonna do this for fun. The very first card is usually the least rare. I'll let you guys get a little sneak peek. I can't see who that is yet, and I don't think you could either. The very, oh my god, the very first card? Yo, that is so sick. Oh, miss. AJ Brown. Oh my god, this card is so dope. 51 of 75 Ole Miss. Dude, I know one of you guys is a huge Ole Miss fan. I'm excited to give that puppy away. Ooh, very first card. 51 of 75 Ole Miss. AJ Brown takes us to our second card, which is an immaculate glove card. University of Alabama. Will Anderson. That is so sick. So that is a Will Anderson Alabama glove piece with Will Anderson on there as well. No signature or anything, but two of 30 not. That is so sick. Oh, that one is so cool. You can see like it's one of the like corners of the finger, I think right there. You can kind of see that stitching. That's a really cool card. Ooh, look at this. Immaculate signatures BYU. Jaron Hall. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Jaron Hall went to the Vikings, right? And then he played like 10 snaps and then got a concussion or something. I think I'm thinking of the right guy because that's why they then went to Josh Dobbs because he was third string. Either way, Jaron Hall, BYU with the signature on. That's a really cool card. Probably not worth too much. I don't know if Jaron Hall's the best guy. 66 of 98 on the Jaron Hall. Really pretty card though. I like the blue coloring, the blue jersey, and then the blue signature. It all goes together really nicely. Look who we got here. A little Nolan Smith. Nolan Smith's Georgia, right? 58 of 99 rookie Nolan Smith got his signature right on there. Rookie autograph. It's a dope card. This would have been really good for Wheel of Mutt. We got all of these. Dude, Nolan Smith, Will Anderson, AJ Brown, all would be insane pickups on Wheel of Mud. Ooh, next one here is a redemption card. Holy fuck. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, so if you've never seen a redemption card, basically, they don't have the card made yet, or they couldn't get the guys to sign it. Dude, I'm gonna let you read this. This is nuts. Oh, sorry. You're a fucking idiot. You can't read. This is a Panini Immaculate Collegiate dual autograph, Joey Bosa Nick Bosa. Both autographs. It's a dual auto of the Bosa brothers. That's insane. What? That is so cool. So if you, basically, you just scratch this code off and you go redeem it and they send it to you when they get the card done. So really easy to give away. Ooh, and the final card. I'm not going to lie. He did not have the best season, but this is a really cool looking card. A 10 of 49 TCU Quinton Johnston. Yeah, hey, I love Quentin Johnston. I wish him the best. He really did struggle this season, though. I, I hope he has a good turnaround season in uh, year two because the drops and the separation were just not there for Quentin Johnston this season. 1049, though, really cool card. Uh, and I know we got a TCU fan out there. Dude, he's a big boy. Quinn Johnson's a big boy. Wow, what a cool opening. All right, boys. That's the reward for the 40 bomb. I'll be giving those away. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. What a fucking awesome video, man. Got to drop 30 million coins and uh, open some really cool cards. All right, boys. I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.